Well, firefighters on the move today in Schuylkill County as a brush fire scorched nearly a dozen acres. Firefighters from several departments were on the scene for hours battling that blaze. 2822's Johnny Gali was on the scene near McAdoo earlier tonight. She joins us now live in the studio with what officials are saying about that large fire. Gianna. Andy, good evening. More than 10 acres of land were destroyed this afternoon in Klein Township. No one was injured and no structures were damaged, but fire crews say the brush fire was a tough one to put out. Planes dropped fire retardant over charred wooded fields in Klein Township Friday afternoon in efforts to extinguish a large brush fire. Very densely wooded. Uh, extremely difficult to get out area uh, up on the side of the mountain. Multiple fire crews, in addition to McAdoo, were on scene for hours to help extinguish the blaze that burned more than 10 acres of land. The Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Bureau of Forestry had 20 forestry members on scene to assist in putting out the fire. 10 acres is, like I said, maybe a little bit more than average. Uh, the underbrush, so it was uh, a, a really big, feel, uh, thick load of uh, fuel wood. Uh, so we had uh, underbrush of scrub oak and then uh, pitch pine uh, overstory, so it, it burnt pretty good. And on top of the field conditions, gathering water was also a challenge. It just was time consuming because till guys got out of water and then were able to hike back down the mountain again to fill up and then have to hike back up. It, it, it was just a process. It's not the first time there's been a brush fire in that area. Chief Leshko says last year a brush fire broke out at night near the same spot. He warns people that might be in the wooded area near the 800 block of Tresco Road to be aware of the impact that winds and dryness can have on sparking flames. If people are out here, you know, try to be careful um, because it, it is really dry and uh, the, the wind changes even today where you don't really think there's a lot of wind, the wind changes were very dramatic. DCNR forestry members are investigating the cause of the fire, but say nothing seems suspicious or out of the ordinary. 2822 News will continue to bring you the latest both on air and online at PAHomepage.com. In studio, Gianna Gali, 2822 News. Andy. All right, thank you, Gianna.